girls who are at the end of the war. Um, I don't think she does. I think what she represents to me is what it means. To, it's a very intimate perspective. It's what it means to be the child of a perpetrator and to find out that your father who you started, she starts the film thinking her father is a hero and by the end of the film, or halfway through the film, she knows that her father is a, basically a mass murderer and what that does to your psyche and your sense of who you are and the indoctrination that you have um, been a part of. I'm, I've just read a book um, about an Israeli, Israeli um, writer went to Berlin and interviewed a, a high-ranking Nazi's children and one woman found out in 1962 when her, her father was um, tried that he was, a, he was also a murderer and she said that the stunning part of it, the, the really difficult part of it was there was never any conversation about the victims. And, and she went so far as looking through all the court records. Um, she even went to the prison and tried to speak to the prison chaplain and to ask if her father ever mentioned what he'd done, to, not even what he'd done, but how he felt about the victims. And I feel like that's almost Laura. She sees all these naked people, she sees children, and this is what your father, this is what the war hero has done. So I think it's a very personal view, and it's, it's not saying, this is what my country did, it's saying, this is what we did. But also Germany, we all know as a country, looks at its history probably more honestly than any other country in the world, and interrogates that history, and it interrogates its history far more than Australians do in terms of the atrocities that we've committed. So it's taught me a lot doing this film. The baby was frightened of Saskia. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have to stop right now. Uh, so thank you for being here.